So today we are going to make mocha frappuccino. So let's make this refreshing drink before summertime is officially over. So mocha is made of coffee and chocolate. So we're going to blend all these ingredients in the blender and also we're adding ice to make the mixture thicker. I have my coffee here. So we're, I'm going to mix my chocolate and sweetened cocoa powder. We're going to mix this to our coffee. And then my almond milk. For the sweetener, I use maple syrup put together here. And I add a little bit of vanilla extract just to kind of give that vanilla flavor. I also like to add banana because banana is makes it more creamy and it adds more sweetness to your mixture that I'll just blend everything together okay all together so this is my coffee almond milk and the chocolate and maple syrup all right so we're gonna put everything together that should be good okay now I have I melted some chocolate earlier because just for presentation I'd like to throw a little bit of chocolate into my glass inside my glass over there so I have a spoon and I have this melted chocolate you can use any chocolate morsel so I have like this Godiva bittersweet but you can use semi sweet and then add a little bit of fat like coconut I add coconut oil to my chocolate uh, morsels and then melted it for a little bit so let's swirl a little bit of that chocolate in the glass all right so here you go so just kind of like you know you want that really nice swirling of the chocolate okay so your glass is like all that chocolate like you know those mudslides <laughs> so you have all that chocolate in there in the glass okay so I'm gonna add it there so you can see now that there's this chocolate like around right there so it's really nice for presentation and then I have this is optional now you can put whipped cream on top whip topping is optional but you can also use coconut whip topping if you'd like So here are additional toppings that you can also use. Sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. Um, if you want some crunch, you can sprinkle some toasted almonds on top like that. And you can also, if you want that coconut flavor, you can also sprinkle a little bit of coconut um, flakes. All right. But let me show you one cool thing. Now let me show you how to make chocolate shavings. Um, for chocolate shavings, you know how this, those curly chocolate shavings that they put on top of your dessert? Now I have a bar of chocolate right here and then I have my vegetable peeler. But I'm going to use gloves because so then when I hold the chocolate it does not melt right away because when you the chocolate melts right away when you hold it with your bare hands because it's we're warm we have warm body right <laughs> so this is the chocolate bar that I have now when you're peeling your vegetable you peel away right now when you want that chocolate nice chocolate shavings on top of your dessert or in this case the our drink our frappuccino then you pull it towards you there's a peeler this is a vegetable peeler and you pull and you kind of that motion towards you right like that so this so you just kind of get all of that chocolate shavings right there so now you can see that it's curling because if you shave it away from you it's just a straight chocolate shape it's there's no curl so this one really curls nicely like there I'm gonna show you closer see how nice this is you don't you don't have to go to Starbucks just stay home and make this and you'll save a lot of money and 
it's a lot healthier for you too because you know what's in it. You're not using any artificial flavorings or pumps and you know how much um, sugar you put in here. And also you can add protein powder, chocolate or vanilla protein powder. So when you want to drink it in the morning, you're more energized. And plus there's coffee in it too. So it's good, you know. And so right there, we're shaving chocolate shaving. I'm going to go closer to the camera so you can see the chocolate shavings that I'm talking about, okay? All right. So there you go. I'm going to go closer and show you this chocolate shavings. Where are you now? Right there. See how curly they are? How nice and curly? When you're making some kind of dessert, dessert like um, cheesecakes or something something like your cupcakes or something you can put this on top and it looks so pretty now I'm gonna go closer again and show you the finished product isn't that cool all right so I hope you guys are doing excellent today and your leftover chocolate you can even drizzle some of that on top too like that so see that I'm gonna closer and show you this really nice drink see how that is really nice and the top there you go there you go now it's tasting time right let's see cheers oh yummy this is so yummy I like the banana there too because I like that banana you don't have to add banana you can add any fruit you like but the chocolate creaminess of the chocolate and then you can taste that coffee and then all that toppings on top. Well, oh. mm. it's so refreshing. Guys, make this. It's so easy to make. It's just putting everything together and put it in the blender. And I show you the technique on how to do that chocolate shavings. So then now you can have chocolate shavings on anything. Okay. Now you have a refreshing mocha frappuccino. So for more recipes, please visit me at leanbellaskitchen.com. And for this one, just click the link below. Thank you and bye for now.